those of you left after our technical difficulties from the other week welcome back to phasmophobia today we're also doing uh my brain's still loading hold on real-time lag <laughs> we're doing the weekly challenge today it looks like it's in camp woodwind i feel like i'm gonna like this one other weekly tasks we might try to work on wednesday are detect a ghost with a motionless sensor 30 times wow Shouldn't be too terrible though. You could probably get that in a single game if you're patient enough. Earn money from contracts. Uh, need to earn twenty-five thousand for that, and you get five hundred bucks as a reward. Uh, take three-star footprint photos. Um, you can get like two or three photos per salt. You can get nine things of salt per game. You could probably actually get that all in one game if you're strategic about it. Ah, uh, daily tasks that we'll be attempting to complete today are discover the ghost type, play with another investigator, not going to do that one, capture a three-star ghost photo, we'll probably try to go for that, and play contracts three times, we're definitely going to discover the ghost type and play contracts three times, okay, maybe three times, uh, we will we'll try to uh, get a three-star ghost photo, let's see what we're actually working with here, we'll go ahead and set this to Camp Woodwind, I need to take a look at challenge mode, frostbitten, it's so cold that it's slowing everyone down, including the ghost. So it sounds like we are all basically at the lowest speeds that we can go. Um, I feel like they're going to give us a combination of tier 1 and tier 2 equipment. They might also be removing smudge sticks. So let's see what we get. Oh, we still get to sprint. That's nice. Um, so let's see here. That is tier 3. What on earth? Yeah, that, that's tier three sanity medication. We get sanity and activity monitor. Um, we do not get breaker location, even though I'm pretty sure the generator is always uh, right here in front of the bathroom. So that's something. Uh, what is that? Tier two, tier two, tier two, tier one photo cam. Pretty sure this is, yeah, tier one, uh, ultraviolet tier one salt tier two crucifix so yeah decent combination no smudge sticks no candles which is an odd one might be hard if we have to deal with an unreal uh so i guess we should just start working into this one <sighs> gonna be very hard to get the ghost based off of thermals and we're starting at such a high sanity i'm probably going to want to go in with emf uh, I'm going to take a flashlight just so you guys can see, and we will take in a video cam. Let's hope the ghost has ghost orbs. Oh, I should probably extra verify that this is recording. Yep, looks like it's recording proper. Nice. Looks like it's over here in this tent, and we do have ghost orbs. It is kind of hard to tell, but it is the bigger white dot, and it's also the only thing that's going up. It is very active in here. Go ahead, toss that down over there. Flick that guy on. Let's go flick on this breaker, get some lights. The breaker is broken in here. That is interesting. Yeah, if there are cursed possessions, I don't even know where they would be. I'm not that in tune with uh, this and honestly several other maps. Let's do something over here. I do want to check on some of these throws for Ultra, or not Ultra, uh, EMF 5. Nothing too crazy quite yet. We can turn on that campfire give us an extra bit of light. I like when the bone spawns over here, but I'm not seeing it, unfortunately. So right off the bat, we have ghost orbs. That's not a bad evidence to start with. That actually narrows the ghost down a fair bit, I believe. Yeah, about half. I think the first evidence usually narrows them down by about half. Haven't got anything close to EMF-5 just yet. Uh, since we know the ghost location, we'll go ahead and toss these guys down. And yeah. Keep on keeping on. See how much evidence we can get. Usually they'll mention it if they're tampering with evidence at all. Put some keywords in there or something to that tune. I think right there is probably good as well as that. Uh, don't have to worry about Gorio, and I am loving that. I think I'm going to go get the other dots as well and put it in there. And I want to carry more than two items at a time, so we're going to go ahead and... Ooh. Ooh. That's quite the... Jesus, that's quite the activity jump. I wonder what the ghost did. 
this guy over here. Still got our ghost orb over there. Lovely. Do need to keep an eye out for the mimic. I will take an extra writing book just so we can start narrowing that down. And we might as well start with our uh, spirit box testing. Actually, right off the bat, I'm going to start by putting down another dots. Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Does not appear that it is going to be, uh... Got something over here again. ZMF even one of the options? It is not. No spirit box so far. Dots would be Thay, Ultraviolet is not an option, so freezing or dots. Order than the book again. Um, I don't even know what ghost I would want it to be, honestly. In this mode, Revenant's still fairly dangerous. We only need to get the ghost right, so we just need to make sure we have one of these two selected. Good to sit in here and wait for dots, although that is not exactly how I want to play this. So we're going to go in there and try working for, we're working towards freezing temps. If we never get freezing temps, then we're just going to have to assume that it's dots. Uh, along with this, I guess I'll grab one of these again, grab that and grab that. I'll take in the uh, photo cam if it is dots or if we have the opportunity, I'll try to get the ghost photo. So... Let's get into it. Finally starting to get decently active. I shouldn't really discount uh, Spirit Box just yet, but I don't really have a whole lot of other options. That's quite warm for this area to be the ghost room. I think it is a thing. I mean, slowly getting uh, a little bit more. That should be pretty good coverage ish there, just in case it wanders inside of the campfire. So at this point, we just gotta basically wait for the ghost. I think I'm going to try to spirit box again here in just a second. I really shouldn't be uh, writing off any of these evidence items. But those two definitely won't be. Still a chance it's a mare, I guess. Are you here? Are you close? close. The mare! Congratulations! Now if I could just... Get a ghost photo. Oh, my sanity is actually quite high. I guess we'll look around it for cursed possessions. And if we don't find any, then we'll just uh, walk out of here. I know the mirror can be there. Uh, I think the Ouija board and the tarot cards are usually over in the uh, gaming tent. Getting clarifying. I do not know any of this to be true. Monkey's paw is over here. Does not appear we got a monkey's paw. Here should be fairly easy to work with. Ah, uh, summoning circle. I don't even know where that is on this map. But it would be obvious and we would have found it already. Oh, I guess I'll take that. Can't complain about an easy bone. But um, there's actually a pretty terrible one on here with the, uh, Brick are being broken. Setting us up to get screwed over there. Hurts. Well, I'm not turning my flashlight off for you, buddy. That's what you're going on about. Throwing something. I can't even see what it is, though. That was easy to see. 
I'd like a ghost event. Show yourself. Are you here? Where are you? Show yourself. Do something. Give me a sign. Show yourself. Do something. Are you here? Where are you? Show yourself. Do something. Give me a sign. Hit me, baby, one more time. <laughs> well, at least we do know that we get all three evidence items, which is perfect. Um, I think I'm just going to call this a mare and go ahead and boogie. We'll try to get the ghost photo on. I'll carry this with me. We'll get the ghost photo on the next one. It's definitely doing a lot of activity. It's just uh, not really getting us something to take a photo of. Cool. Got all the way down to 55, 60% sanity. Nice. Oh, we even completed an objective. That's pretty cool. Of course, there's only times one rewards both the player, so it's not really worth a whole lot. Uh, we got one of those dailies, which was discovered a ghost type. Perfect. Don't plan on being here all day. I know a lot of you guys like the longer videos. Maybe we'll save longer videos for Saturdays, and we'll try to do Mondays and Wednesdays videos quicker. Because unfortunately, longer ones do hurt the channel. Not that it's all about numbers. I don't make money off of this or anything. But, number goes up, make me feel good. Undeniable facts. Um, so yeah, same thing as before. I guess, yeah, we'll try to... Uh, we'll take this one, this one, and this one like before. Actually, I want EMF. Let's see what we can get. We don't even get a lighter to turn on the uh, campfire, which is a bit dumb. We get another one with ghost orbs. That'd be pretty straightforward to spot. I guess this would also try to keep an eye out for the bone. Yeah, in cursed positions. I don't see either yet. Starting to seem like it might be one of these uh, inner tents. I haven't heard anything happen to take uh, EMF values off of yet. I have tried turning up the game. Ooh, this is open. I have tried turning up the game volume. We'll see what that does. Might as well just go ahead and pick that guy up. This is open as well. I don't think that was inside of the tent. But I can't seem to spot what it was. Something in here. So it's either in that tent or it's in the... Nope, it's in the tent. That works. Wait, tent or playground area? Playground area. Close to the tent, though. Right about here. It's actually kind of hard to tell what that is. Go ahead and toss that there. Toss that over there. Easy enough to spot for future endeavors. Definitely likes to roam a bit. Also, certainly using up our sanity quite quickly. I am trying to do something about the brightness of these videos because even I've noticed that they are fairly dark upon rewatch. I don't always rewatch the videos, saying so I'm here when I'm recording them. <laughs> but I watched one recently and it's like, ah, wow, that is hard to see anything. And I was even in a dark room with the uh, TV on. <laughs> I don't care about getting any of those. We might touch a door. We'll go ahead and grab these two, set this stuff up. Already out of stamina. You know, I haven't actually noticed I'm much slower than normal. Terrible as it is to say, it seems like it's about standard speed. Need these doors been touched. I'm gonna put them back up, that way yeah, I feel like the ghost would be a little bit more inclined to touch them. Maybe it increases the uh, range at which it can. Oh, I could check for UV. 
There we go. Should have quite the ability to touch this light if it wanted to. Set up a lot of this so that way the ghost has the ability to uh, touch it. Like that, ultraviolet is on the menu. Um, gotta be careful, this could easily be a, uh, gee, look at how that's positioned. That's not gonna work. Wait, was that working? I think that's technically working, so I'm gonna roll with that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I didn't even know I could do that. So I'll know immediately when it touches that tent again in the future. Um... Very active. Wow. So if you guys ever have a complaint about anything that I'm doing, feel free to go down in the comments and let me know. Even if you can't word it nicely, it still helps me in the long run. I'm not seeing any more ghost orbs. Starting to think we got a roomy boy. After I go out there and set up all the equipment. That dick. <laughs> gonna take this out there. I feel like this is about the time it's gonna do something for me. Uh, 75-ish percent sanity. Nothing terrible. Hasn't touched anything over there, so maybe it roamed, uh, in there. Basically, I just gotta grab the video cam and look for it. Should be fairly easy to spot. Oh, looks like it is inside the campfire. Where is this at? Come on, big white dots. Why is this so difficult to find? This is on top of me. Uh, ghost photo, three star ghost photo. Oh, that's right, good to try. So, ghost orbs are where? Over here. Play area still. Ish. Barely. Sanity should be fairly drained at this point, so I do need to be careful about that. Let's go ahead and grab this equipment. Chuck it over here. Dots! That works for me. Uh, should be a banshee, which makes sense based on everything that we've seen so far. So, we're out of here. We're even going to step up beyond and collecting a bone. I thought it seemed like it was kind of following me everywhere once it finally started doing activity, but it was hard to tell. And then dots is something that a mimic cannot mimic, so that works for me as well. Three-star ghost photo we have complete, and we're on track to basically do all three of these in one game based on the time we're at. Which for me, I don't even think I'll up or edit this. 18 and a half minutes. That's not terrible. A lot of these challenges you could easily knock out within the uh, uh, half hour to an hour. Depends on uh, the ghost cooperation, really. And, of course, your knowledge of a lot of this stuff. But when there's challenges like this, if it's three pieces of evidence, it's three pieces of evidence. There's nothing more you really got to work with. Oh, the old trio seems to be doing quite well. I'm going to grab this one this time. Uh, a writing book and EMF. Oh, that's right. Can't walk around with that on. I think I used to be able to. I hear something over here. Just my own imagination. I think technically that is an EMFable thing, those noises. Or maybe it's only when it slaps a log. Gotta love these bones floating in midair. What was that over here? No, I think that was inside this tent right here. I 
door is inside this tin right here with the door open emf5 right off the bat hasn't touched anything yet i would touch that but we got emf5 and ultraviolet honestly that works for me we'll go ahead and put down the writing book We could actually shut that off because we don't care what it touches anymore. Um, yeah, those are actually some pretty decent ones. Go ahead, grab our tripod, a camera, and both the dots because if this is a Gorio, I want to catch it as soon as possible. They are the worst. Gin is going to be very difficult, so we'll end up putting a... Uh, I don't know if this even works. I think it used to. We'll end up putting an EMF meter on the breaker and see if it interacts with it. If it gives it a level 5 interaction, it should be a gin, because that's a gin trying to turn on the breaker, but the breaker's broken, so can't do that. Gotta love a lot of the bits of information in this game. Alrighty, so no ghost orbs, that's nice to work with. There ish, there ish. Um, and yeah, that's the only one that'll have dots, so if I want to get dots from that ghost, it's got to be on the video cam. I'm not actually going to stay in here forever, I'm just going to do this for about the first few seconds. And a few seconds are up, okay. I'm actually going to go and place these, how can I place these so that this works nicely? That works pretty nice. Anything decent in here? Well, that's not great. Ah, uh, that kind of breaks it a little bit. It's doing everything but something useful. There we go. That's some good dots coverage. Look at all them dots. So if it does anything in there, dots-wise, we will see it, without a doubt. Not that I could do it right now, though, so... Gotta keep on working at it. Um... I started about doing something else, and now I've completely forgotten already. Interesting graph. I don't think it means anything, though. If you have parabolic, we could try listening for multiple whispers in a given amount of time and see if we have a uh myling but we'll be better off trying to find that out with a spirit box um don't have an open hand so let's get in there also whenever we hear it touch anything decent we'll try to check that with the um, is that ghostwriting? That is ghostwriting. Okay. Ah, oh, that's that myling. What is that? That's Moroi and uh, Diogen that have a uh, spirit box or unique interactions with it. Cool. Well, let's go verify that that is a myling. Wow, that one went quick. I wonder if they turned up the activity or if I'm just getting really lucky because I've had other ones in the past where. Even though it's giving you three evidences, it just will not forfeit like two of them. And then you're basically doing an insal insanity challenge with a challenge on top of it for the reward of one. <laughs> what do we get? That was a myling. We have completed this challenge. We've also unlocked our tier three EMF, so we'll go and get that sweet, sweet ear candy. I think we've unlocked a few other things as well. Click on it. Here we go. Uh, nope, it's just that. That's the second of the tier 3 equipment we've unlocked. We're at 52. What's the next one? That's 54. Um, the next thing in here looks like it's 57. Yeah, I need to get 57 before I start unlocking tier 3 uh, optional equipment. But 54 appears to be the next uh, thing. It's going to be Spirit Box, which is going to be very nice. Bring that down, bring that all the way back up. Disable, re-enable. Uh, okay, I don't even know what I'm going to do. 
for uh, Wednesday's video yet, so we're going to have to work on that one. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you could like, comment, and or subscribe, I would appreciate it, because anything that you can do for the channel helps me put more back into the channel for you. All that being said, we managed to complete three of our daily tasks. We managed to complete our weekly task in one sitting. And so far at this point in time, if I can get Windows to work with me a little bit, it's only taken us 25 minutes, which is not bad at all. I mean, honestly, that was quite quick, especially for the ghost that we had and the breaker being broken. But <laughs> especially since that last one could have been a gin. Anyway, I see you guys in the next one. Peace.